So I'm outside getting a little bit of air, a little bit of fresh air. Hopefully that bird don't poop on me. Ooh. Anyway, we all have passion projects and we're all passionate about certain things in our existence. And that all culminates into who we are as a being or as people, you know. We're all passionate about certain things in our existence that just can't be denied. And we all share this one reality. And Beyonce's here and it's really amazing, right? <laughs> like I'm passionate about helping people and helping better themselves. And that's really shaped me into the like into the person that I am because at the core of my being as it's just me just wanting to be able to help people. You know what I mean? That that's that, that is me. And that right there sparks something in me that just can be denied. It's it's integral to who I am. And I think that's also who you may be. And if not, then we can get into that and have a little topic about that. But in the meantime, in between time, let's talk about our passions. Well, passion and compromise. All right. So our passions. You may be passionate about a car that you've wanted to get since you were ten, a job that you've always wanted since you were, you know, little being a nurse, a doctor, humanitarian, writing a book, living your best life, being bougie, boycotting. Okay. Sometimes these are core things to our being and sometimes it's inconsequential. It's just something that we like, something that we love, maybe skating, basketball. Just you being you as a like a, as a human being and functioning in that space and the energy. If you hear the air out here, I do apologize. I may have to cover my hair real quick because that sun is beaming down on me real quick. And if my if the life on my forehead is shining on you, I do apologize. It's it's magnanimous today. It's it's glorious radiance. <laughs> But our passions, it's just a vibe, just a vibe in general. And I really love that about all of us. And I've been thinking low key, what if I wasn't the person that I was and am today because I felt differently about other different passions in my life that have taken a different direction somewhere entirely? Would that still be me? Would it not be me if I was more passionate about, you know, the car that I drive and wanted to have more monetary status? in the world would that make me someone completely different would my overconsumption make me into somebody completely different you know would i compromise myself in order for me to be able to hold true to these passions that may or may not even be worth it in the future i mean come think about it i really don't know getting down these ideas is something else the things that i do for content and also for myself and my self-growth let me tell you it is Ugh. I'm riding as I go, okay? All right. <laughs> By the way, this kufia is from Hirabawi. I have about three of them, and um, they've definitely been serving a purpose. And this thing right here to be blocking out the sun, like, like again, the the sun just beaming down on my bean, and this thing right here, I, I I knew it was pretty good. I knew it was like, you know, made for the elements, but like, it's out here doing its job. It's just doing its thing. All right. Hopefully. The ISO won't be like too bad and y'all will be able to, you know, keep up with me and whatnot. But being passionate and compromising your passions is, I don't know, I'm at a crossroads right here. I'm, well, maybe like a slight, like a slight crossroads. Slightly though, but it's not like it's going to make or break me or anything like that. It's just, there's some things that I've been thinking about and um, how deep I want to get into my passions of liberation and just, you know, general human compassion. You know what I mean? It's like showing that deep compassion to other human beings and make sure that we all grow and everything in between. I may, no, 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 not I may. This is this is part of me now. Like this, this is a part of me. The kindness, the love and the generosity that I feel and human compassion is just on a whole different level now. It, it really is. And my humanity just, can't be contained are you feeling that kind of way anyway our passions uh this is kind of becoming more about me now isn't it i didn't mean for it to turn into a bit of a bit more of of me you know but um yeah if you have any passions just let me know what are your passions what are you passionate about you know because again we're all different like you may be like a inspiring enthusiast like a bmx biker or something like that a skater i don't know it's fun to think about I mean, in the long run, but would you compromise your passions? Like, if you want to become the best dancer, right? And let's say the next best, like, break for you was coming up in about a good two weeks and you decided to put up your shoes, like, three days before. Would you continue or would you stop right there because of comfortability? Would you compromise the passion of yours? Would you compromise yourself on such a level in which it would change your mentality forever? Would you? I like to think that I wouldn't. I mean, I like to think that I'm going to be pushing forward, doing every single thing that I can going into the future and just telling stories, you know, being me, humanizing, being human, you know, just really being human, living in the moment 
taking in everything that the world is growing with it and doing everything that i need to do in order for me to be able to continue my passions because like if this passion doesn't have a good purpose should i continue or should i not or or what have you this thing is really keeping out the heat y'all in the south it'd be hot right now i mean the wind's blowing and all that kind of stuff and the sun is coming down this thing is it's keeping me pretty cool uh multi-purposed <laughs> let me tell you are you okay <sighs> but there's so much to do so many stories to like unfold and to immerse myself in because i mean like literally look at that look at all that back there all that grass and everything the fields oh my gosh it's bright it's bright af oh let me put that down hopefully the wind interference isn't all that bad oh my gosh it's kind of turned into a ramble hasn't it oh no I just want to lay here and veg out for like two or three seconds. Let me just do that. I'm going to have to get back to you in like 2.3 seconds. I need to like take in this scene real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Hold on. Trying to make sure we say anything. Kofia, dang. This ain't going to work. I don't think it's going to work anyway. Hi. Okay. How are you doing? I hope your day is going spectacular. Magnanimous. Let's talk about compassion. Sorry, not compassion. Let's talk about our passions and compromise. Will this win compromise? Oh. The wind compromised a little bit. It knows I'm passionate. It knows I'm, wait, you can't even. Anyway, a couple things that we are, are passionate about. Okay. As you can see, it's a wonderful and glorious day. It's looking very great. Ta-da, as you can see. Some of all got passions. We like things that we like to do. Things we feel really, really, really strongly about. And I, for one, personally, I love helping people. I really do. Not just a point where it hurts me. No, 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 no. That, that, that's, a, that's a point where your, your kindness can be used against you and i don't think i'll let it come to, oh no i ain't gonna let it get to that nah nah that, that ain't no way that ain't no way but i really love being able to give my energy oh it's a butterfly so oh, it's cute can you come here hold up no there it is ah oh. okay don't laugh that i just recorded a butterfly i don't want to show y'all okay it was real cute it was part it was it was it was the moment okay all right <laughs> it was the moment but in lieu of things and the times that we live in can we afford to be compassionate no hold on not compassionate can we afford to have passions that we are very strongly rooted in the kind of passions that make you you okay should we even still be holding on to those things you know i mean yeah i mean the world's gonna it, it's still continuing and all that kind of stuff the world's still going on and we're still doing what we're doing you know and and stuff but like should i still be doing the things that i was doing before you know because like everything that's behind me i have plans for like i have a lot of plans for everything back there and that's gonna require me to put in a lot of work and for me to exist outside of myself and do things beyond my capabilities because like i probably need some mutual aid y'all i ain't gonna be i ain't gonna hold you i may need a little bit of help uh just just a smidge but i do have a team behind me to help me realize these passions of mine but like should i really be continuing it like doing these passion projects continuing to you know dream about you know having the field you just saw full of food irrigated and being given to people at a very cheap price like i mean like dirt cheap because it comes from the dirt because like the earth provides everything that we need but we pay for everything and and poisons and stuff like that anyway let's let's, let's continue on let's continue but yeah that's what the guy been thinking should i be doing any of these passion projects should i continue to be the wonderful person that i am to give you some life some energy you know and you know continue in doing you know good works for everyone that's around me by the way this uh kufia y'all like i got it from hibari but look at it like look at it i got like three of them I'm, I'm about to get a fourth one um oh my gosh this thing is really protecting me from the sun she this thing is made to keep me in the shade <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> oh wow look at my forehead y'all just shiny Woo, woo! but that's get clear though okay i'm getting on topic but yeah should i continue to do the passion projects and all the kind of stuff and you know continue to work in this good energy and compassion for the rest of my you know my fellow humans my fellow human beings while while things is crazy and people's running amok doing you know just evil works it makes me think and it's really got me thinking should i compromise my passions or should i stay true to my passions because i can only do so much y'all like at the end of the day i'm so i'm so flesh and blood allegedly so far as i know i mean like i look for the tags and all that kind of stuff you know to the earth 
and um, ask God, you know, like, am I built for this? What am I made out of? Clearly, I may be one of your strongest warriors out here, but like, you know, there's only so much I can do. <laughs> and if you were the strong warriors, you know, you'd be tested and the works formed against you won't prosper and all that kind of stuff. But, oh my gosh, the level of difficulty and self-doubt and, pos- and like impossible po- imposter syndrome that may come with it, y'all. I don't know. I just need to see hydrated, moisturized and highly flavored and favored and blessed. Yeah. But yeah, it's really got me thinking. Maybe I should go full steam on these passion projects and make sure that I can at least, you know, feed the people here for the most part. God only knows how that's going to go. But it uh, could be fun in the long run. I know in the long run, it'll definitely be helping a lot of people, you know, just out here in general in my world. But I like to think of my world is more encompassing than it just being simply me and those immediate around me. Like I act locally, but I think globally. Or is it supposed to be in the reverse? You act globally and think locally. Dad to say that? Hold on, don't quote me on that. I'll have to run that back anyway, whatever. <laughs> but my world encompasses then just simply me and those around me. Like everyone that's within my community is encompassed in what I want to do in general. And that is just the passion that I feel and the energy that I want to put towards that. But then again, I don't want for it to get clouded. I don't want for it to get muddled. I don't want for it to compromise those ideas and things that are me that I am passionate about and not go full force in it like if you watch like a few of my videos i'm really big about liberation and i want for you to be free i want for you to be free thinking i want for you to be right to determination right to self-determination i want for you to continue to be wonderful and grow only with the good okay that's basically it and to stay passionate about what you want to do in this world and to not compromise but i feel like i may have to compromise here and there in order for me to be able to achieve the long-term goals instead of you know for short-term success and would you do that like if you if you got any ideas let me know i don't want to like compromise who i am my vanity probably won't let me do that at all it probably won't but yeah i'm not going to say i'm at a crossroads but i'm definitely thinking about like what i can do in the long run and how i can keep up momentum and power and still stay true to who i am and yeah passion fun little thing right compassion i got boatloads of that i got a whole bunch of that kindness ooze it i ooze that but to say passionate about my passions i don't know at least at the moment i'm pretty sure when i take some water drink some water i'll be fine i'll be good i'll be all right in the meantime you know what? I guess I'm just going to have to stay true to who I am because in the day I literally am passionate about helping other people. And I mean that. Ten toes down. I mean it. And I won't go back on that. I can't. Yeah, I'm not going to compromise. Are you going to compromise on what you're passionate about? Anyway, if you are going to compromise, let me know how you're going to compromise and how you're going to, you know, dictate how you go about life in the future and stuff. So, yeah. Let me know. I really want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I'm curious. I'm also kind of nosy. So tell me about your business. <laughs> anyway, I've taken enough of your time. And um, y'all spend too much time on these makufia. And um, I need for you to be able to get some, you know, some sunshine, some good air, and uh, whatever else the day may find you getting yourself into. Hopefully good things. Hopefully good things. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you later. This has been the conversation. You've been under the kufia with yours truly, Tevin, World on. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you get back to it, okay? All right, later.